How do you know when you really need to chill, relax, take a holiday? Maybe you've been dreaming of white sandy beaches and hillside villas, or that feeling that accompanies the first sip of your favorite poolside bevy. I can really go for a gin, please. It's when you can't remember the last time you had this much fun or felt this carefree. You who welcome back. Where do you like to go on holiday? We recently set off for Sambu, Menorca, Spain to chill the F out, and apparently I needed it. You know, nothing says holiday like a 3 a.m. car hire pickup, am I right? Two days right there. Call me a bag. <laughs> Aside from Eric forgetting his sunglasses. Um, what do you think about, what do you think about babies? Things are off to a pretty good start. Our BA flight to Mahone leaves on time. I have a new hat, which makes my shadow look a bit like Carmen San Diego. We're still not sure about it. We arrive and find ourselves a great local spot for lunch and refreshments. Let the relaxation process begin. Oh, it's like a, it's like a junk food margarita, I love it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Bar lime, sugar. Yep. Are you happy to be on holiday? Yeah, when I walk through my, the door. What door? Let me tell you a little something about Sanbu. It is very beautiful and very hilly. There's a lot to look at and not quite relaxed and somewhat distracted, Michelle walked herself straight into a stop sign. So one bruised knee and a bump on the head later, we start the trek up the hillside to our villa. This old hat, you know? <laughs> this climbing hill thing that I love so much. Oh, holy crap. Word to the wise, rent a villa on one of the lower streets because it's hot and there are a lot of stairs. How are we doing up there? <sighs> yep. On the other hand, the views are incredible. Worth the walk. Oh my God. Step one to finding our inner chill is to check in to our surprisingly affordable villa that we have for the next five nights. Oh. Oh. Gardner scared the crap out of me there, just like blended in with the palms. Let's see how things are looking inside. <laughs> Not bad at all. Yeah, that'll do. We've never done this villa thing before. We've got our own space, a private pool, some semblance of a kitchen. Let's see how this goes. Well, this took an interesting turn. I don't know what you do on vacation, but uh, we clean. <laughs> Are we surprised? You go to cheap enough places that I get to do what I love still. It really is his favorite pastime. Yeah. It's true. I really wanted to do the mopping. <laughs> We've now decided we need a plunger, you know, <laughs> to deal with this situation. And that. Um, they might owe us a damage deposit. Oh, wow. Ew, it is the problem. That's disgusting. Oh, we can now push all the Yeah, no, this yeah. is great. So we are obviously struggling to relax at the moment. Let's see if we can't speed things up a bit. I thought I heard that correctly. Are they cold? Ah, yeah. How was the pool? Uh, it was great, but it's now windy. Not only were we in Menorca for the start of the heat wave that hit Spain, much of Europe, and parts of the UK, but we had one day that was particularly gusty. But you know what? Hot and windy weather has never stopped me from doing what I love most. I do realize that many of you are going to think I'm a screw loose after this, and Eric would likely agree with you. But for me, an outdoor workout in a new and beautiful place couldn't be any more chill inducing. Yes, we are headed up those stairs. It's gonna be great. How many up and downs do we wanna do? Uh huh. You're in charge. I'm in charge. Five? Five up and downs? Sure. Okay, we'll start five up and downs. See you later. <laughs> be faster than I will be. C 
See, don't you feel amazing with those endorphins pumping and a great view? Workout accomplished. Great job, everybody. You've all earned refreshments in town. Sanbu is expecting you. There are plenty of restaurants and bars to choose from. And of course, some are better than others. Okay, these are amazing. Oh my God. Look at that one. <laughs> they are so good. Tell me that's not amazing. Can I take a small bite? Yeah, you can take a bite. Oh, it's, oh. it's so good, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoop, that's a stir. I'm good. Oh, they're so good. And there's these little fake chocolate seeds on them. These are where it's at. And so is the Irish Arena Pub. Some of the Google reviews for this place aren't great, but I'll tell you that we enjoyed our time here on multiple occasions. You know, we would find the Irish Pub in town. This either makes us super savvy travelers or completely stuck in our ways. This is the face of a man who just squirted his wife with a water bottle. Apparently my chill factor is still lacking. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's why I didn't wear white today. No. <laughs> the pork. The pork. The pork. This is stupid. Get in here. Yeah, there you go. Wow, that's amazing footage. <laughs> and there's a sign on it. This is generally how I'm feeling. A little half in, half out. <laughs> hey, don't leave us. We keep expecting the trek home to get easier. Another hill. It hasn't yet. The struggle is real. Yeah, the pint is uh, not helping me out at this point. I'm fine. Everything's fine. What's wrong with you? Beer. It just impedes with my cardiovascular system, you know? Like, that's, that's just like a hill. Wow. Even he's even. I hope this is the content you were all looking for. <laughs> this man right here. I need a rest. Eating in the comfort of your villa is nice, but sometimes when you're on holiday, you just can't be bothered with cooking. Easy solution for this lazy bum, let somebody else do it in town. Oops, watch your step. We're headed to this awesome tapas restaurant called Casa Andreas. We've managed to get a table, but pro tip, book ahead. are you feeling with your choice? <laughs> Maybe I didn't quite choose right. So we've wined, dined, and climbed some hills. Still not relaxed yet? Hmm. Maybe what we're missing is some good old fashioned fun. For some of us, that may mean enjoying a good read, a card game or two. But for me, we're gonna need an inflatable donut, a freshly skimmed pool, and a big old dose of weirdo. Who decided to join the party? Yeah, we're not competitive at all. No. I'm so tired. <laughs> Can we get a gin? Yeah. I can't really go for a gin. Please. Eric has created a refreshing combination of gin, pineapple juice, and tonic for our Spain getaway. An elixir. An elixir of holiday. Poured over ice and stored in a teapot found in the bowels of the kitchen cabinets. Well done, sir. But I still won the donut race. Beach. <laughs> Lovely.
Yes it is, and in my opinion, beach sunsets are best enjoyed from here. I know what you're thinking, but I really was a lifeguard in a past life. Now that we've filled up on holiday elixir and enjoyed a sunset or two, it's time to really level up this holiday and see the best part of Sanbu. Sanbu's series of trails leads you through caves, between cliff sides, and to this somewhat secluded beach that nearly knocked my socks off. On weekends, Sanbu's beaches are packed. But that won't stop us from enjoying some sandy rays. But it will, however, stop me from filming because, well, the beaches here are optional. Best part for some, I'm sure, but worst part for the vlog because there honestly isn't enough room in my editing timeline for that many blur bubbles. Speaking of bubbles, we found the guys sipping cervezas where else but in the Irish pub. And the reason for this can be heard about 50 meters from the bar. And that, folks, wraps up our Spain holiday. Relaxation mode achieved. Jella? What? I hope you feel vicariously chill or maybe inspired to plan your own holiday in the like somewhat distant future when airline situations are sorted or maybe just mildly entertained. Thank you for joining me. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. <laughs>